I've got an early NHL pick for Tuesday, March 19 that I'm recording the day before. Are you ready for this? If there is one betting strategy that has worked well for us during the 2023-24 season, it has been the following one. Fading a team playing the second leg of back-to-back -back games, especially against a well-rested opponent. I am not advocating doing this every single time the situation presents itself though. You must dig deeper before pulling the trigger on that type of bet. For example, last Saturday I told you that I liked very much the Dallas Stars to defeat the LA Kings. Not only were they much better rested, but the Stars were coming off two straight home defeats, so I figured they'd be extra motivated for this matchup. In the end, they won the match by 4-1 score after taking a quick 3-0 lead in the opening period. They left no doubt regarding the outcome of that meeting. We have a light schedule on Monday with just two games on the menu. One of those teams will travel overnight to play another contest the following day, the Buffalo Sabres. Indeed, after taking on the Kraken on Monday, they will head to Vancouver to face a tough Canucks team. Rick Tuckett's squad owns an impressive 21-7-4 record inside the Rogers Arena this season. However, they have lost their past two matchups at home. In my mind, that's a good thing. We have the exact same scenario as the one I described to you earlier with respect to the Dallas Stars. This time, the Canucks will be very motivated to get the W against Buffalo in order to avoid disappointing their home fans on a third straight occasion. There is no way the Canucks will take the Sabres lightly. For this reason, my best bet in the National Hockey League for Tuesday, March 19 is the Vancouver Canucks with the minus one and a half puck line at positive odds. At the time I recorded this video, Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, the corresponding odds were plus 126 with FanDuel and plus 124 with DraftKings. I am stoked to get such high odds. The line might differ by the time you watch this video though. I suspect it will drop, so I am taking advantage of it as early as possible. Not only are the Sabres going to play a second game in two nights, but they will be on the ice for a fifth time in eight days. Can you imagine how difficult it will be to beat one of the league's top five teams under such circumstances? Meanwhile, Vancouver will be playing just a fourth game in 11 days. That's a huge difference. Although not confirmed yet, at the time I made this video, it looked like Lukonen would be between the pipes for Buffalo on Monday night in Seattle. That means we have a good chance of seeing Eric Comrie in the net for Tuesday in Vancouver, which would be great news for us. As a matter of fact, his 864 save percentage is abysmal. He has also allowed an average of close to 4 goals per game, which is unacceptable. So, in summary, the Canucks are the much stronger club, they will be at home, they will be better rested, their opponents are likely to start a very poor goalie, and the Canucks will be very motivated to get the win. And we are getting positive odds on the puck line. I'll take it in a heartbeat. If you like this video, subscribe to this sports betting channel hosted by a 15-year university statistics teacher. I'm Professor MJ saying so long, my friend.